Genosare has been coordinating with the music groups. Capital and equipment will be provided to our talented groups. At the local level, in the countryside, artists are one of the 18 Myogas. You have seen how our youth have excelled in the sports, in the sports, marathon ETC, Cheptegea and, and uh, the group. Since 1986, we have been struggling with the economic recovery, expansion, diversification, and transformation. The talented sports youth have come up because of these general improvements. With a bit more revenues that we have now, we shall focus deliberately on sports by building more stadiums and training facilities. It is good that the Higher Altitude Training Center at Terriet is now finished. These are just Endozo, Jaribu, in Ntungamo, there were women who were selling beer, local beer. When you come there, you say, uh, somebody will come and say, I, I want you to fast, I want to, to, to test fast. It's called Endokoroza. He, he, he drinks here, he says, ah, this is not good. Goes on like that by the time he has finished six kuroza, he's drunk and he doesn't buy. <laughs> With our growing economy, we shall do much more for sports. It is good, therefore, that the East African countries Together, put in a bid for AFCON, the Continental Football Competition of 2027. 20, Apart from Nambore and Nachivubo, we need more world-class stadiums to be built. It does not matter whether they are government or private, as long as they are in Uganda. On the side of the music, the Attorney General and the Minister of Gender need to resolve the issue of the copyrights. It is not fair not to protect ownership of Okuhimba. Okuhimba is the Rinyankore word for composing, composing songs. That is how We shall be able to create a big economy by doing the four tiers, the ones that I, I, I mentioned. We shall be able to create a big economy that is able to accommodate our expanding population. In 1810, the UK had a population of 10 million people. A priest by the names of Alfred Marthas started pushing views that the population in the UK was too big, etc. The UK has now a population of 70 million people that is many times more prosperous than that of Marthas' time. What happened? It was the metamorphosis of the society and the economy into a middle-class, skilled working society. You cannot have peasants producing younger peasants on increasing the fragmented agricultural plots, and you think that you are not an enemy of your country if, as a leader, you do not see this and combat it. So to sit here as leaders of whatever we call ourselves. Like I, 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 I was watching our leaders in the 1960s. And we were telling, telling them about these, these things that time. You people, 
you go abroad. Because even in the colonial times, I, I remember even 1955, they would take our chiefs. The, the British would take our chiefs to, 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 to England for study tour. But when I, when I was in the, in the school system in the, in the mid-60s and I was reading, I had, not, I had not gone abroad myself, but I was reading. I started asking these people, you, you, you go abroad and you see the, what's happening there. Why don't you tell us when you come back to copy? You, you go and see progress, you come here and you maintain backwardness in your own people. You supervise, oversight, oversight to roll over. You are oversighting backwardness. And you have no problem with that. God will not like it. In the, night, in the cattle corridor, you, you were there the other day, you the MPs, you were there in the, in the cattle corridor, you saw in Goma, people have nice houses. And income, even when the infrastructure is not there, you saw the road from, from very bad, the road is not good, but the people have income. So therefore, Every leader who is calling himself a leader, even, the, even, the, the, even these religious leaders, religious leaders, the cultural leaders, like the, these who are here, please, if you don't see the importance of metamorphosis, metamorphosis is a biological process in insects. Insects start as an egg, the egg hatches and it becomes a, a caterpillar, Caterpillar changes and it becomes a pupa, then it becomes a mature butterfly. It's called, it's called in biology metamorphosis. That's the same with society. We must be clear that we work for social metamorphosis of African societies. Because that's where the problem is. The middle class women who live in the town here. They don't carry women or children on their back. You don't, you don't find tiny children oh, 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 in the back there. <laughs> Mama, Mama Janet here has, has never carried children on her back. Even when we were in exile, we were pushing our children in, the, in, in these small wheelbarrows. We were... <laughs> how, how, can you, how, how can you have a society? You have got a few people. Where, where the children are being pushed in those small, whatever they are, those small vehicles, the, the, the piped water, using the gas cookers, using the electric cookers, then you have your people in the fire. <laughs> this is not acceptable. It's a betrayal. And you say, we say we are leaders, leaders, leaders. <laughs> Excellency, uh, right honorable this one, right honorable that one. <laughs> you cannot have, you cannot have peasants producing younger peasants on increasing the fragmented agricultural plots and you think that you are not an enemy of your country if as a leader you do not see this and combat it. We should not be leaders into future seriousness, futurelessness to our people.